I'm always first! Because it's a woman? Or because somebody's making Wade's defense look awfully pretty? Or maybe you think it's some kind of working class prodigy thing. I'm here in my uniform and sitting at a table that everybody knows not to sit at, unless of course you know what you're doing. I don't. But I've come from solving chess problems and the steam of mirrors that I'm supposed to clean, hoping that my guest will return. Notice that I've solved Taverner 1881 in the short 10 minutes that I've picked up his towels and made his bed. And thus, I'm discovered in a jaw-dropping, epiphanic Hollywood moment, the kind that they would absolutely die for and set to a full ensemble of strings. I don't know if you're right. But I'm also not hoping, because in reality, I don't give two shits whether or not anybody knows that I can recite Kasparov from memory as I waltz down from the park to wipe your board clean. I don't really... In fact, I don't think you know exactly what you're getting yourself into here. The thing you'd imagine what gets me the most is the myriad of stains, when really it's, it's all the bending. Stress on the lower back, up and down, up and down. I'm just going to put my headphones back on, I'd suggest that. You wouldn't believe how many people ask me about that. The stains. Or maybe you would believe it, because you're thinking it yourself right now, and you're thinking it's the most obvious thing to think about. Well, it is one of the biggest fears of guests. Foreign fluid dried in the shape of Florida. I mean, it's the shit of unadulterated midnight terror. I mean it. It's one of my personal fears if I ever look into a hotel bed as a guest. But to the cleaning staff, it is most certainly all the bending. Some girls even wear back braces. Once, I overheard a conversation in the lounge amongst the cleaning staff about this brand versus that brand and which offered the best support. And the irony is that- So which one is it? What? Which brand? Oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't wear any of them. You see, the irony is that if you do, you tend to get a little loose because you just don't take all the bending business with as much caution and care, which you end up getting into trouble because, well, if you don't, then you add more stress to the lower back and tailbone, I think. Yeah. There's this one woman who now wears one of those herringbone corsets, except it's not really made of herring. Are you sure about that? What? Oh, I mean, are you sure, you're sure you wanna move there? Are you sure you want to keep your entire opening? Okay. Okay. So it's this corset that used to be made of herringbone and now isn't. It's still terribly uncomfortable to wear as far as I'm concerned. And when this woman who wears it bends over, she appears as though she's in a state of tentative ecstasy or in the midst of a mildly uncomfortable bowel movement. And the whole thing becomes agonizing to watch, even if it started out as something humorous from a spectator's perspective, as it definitely does when you're spectating for the first time. It's not even possible. I know, right, that so many people refuse to use their hotel bath towels more than once. I was surprised too, at first, kind of. Because on the other hand, it's completely understandable, though it is one of the main causes of the whole bending over problem which has almost the entire cleaning staff in back braces and on their way to mildly uncomfortable expressions of bowel movements. Which, in many ways, is the expression your arrangement up here is orchestrated in at the moment. Which, frankly, is uncomfortable to watch.